And welcome back guys! We're going to be playing some more Days Gone. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. Let's get back into it. No, this is your clutch. <sighs> I know where the clutch is. Right, do you want me to show you how to do this or not? Yes, but I know where the clutch is. Okay, fine. All right, you do it yourself, okay? All right. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? You can't park here. Uh, I'm just here to pick it's up Sarah's property. Now turn around, get the hell out of here. Come on. Okay. <sighs> Move it. Yep. Uh, uh, okay, uh, you know what though? I think I'm just gonna wait right here. You can go back to doing your guard the cornfields thing. This is Officer Moore at the gate. We got an issue here. Hey, listen, asshole. This is a restricted area. I told you, get the hell out of here. Okay. Hey, hey, you just wait right there. I told you. Move it. It's like I was trying to say. I'm just here just to pick up... Did you not see that sign? Oh, look at that. That's kind of hard to miss. I'm authorized to use deadly force. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa. what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Whitaker. It's, it's what, fine, I, Do you know this asshole? Yeah, he's with me. He's with me. Sorry, ma'am. I, I on, didn't know go. that... It's fine. Honestly, I apologize. Shh. Oh, and Jim! Deacon! I'm not with her. She's with me. Hold on tight. Why do you always do that? Do what? Act like such a dick. Oh, come on. He started it. What are you, five? Hey, watch the clutch. Remember, you gotta give it enough gas, rev up the RPMs. I got this. Yeah, I can hear. Where are we headed? Over to the dam. It's a nice and quiet road, right? With you driving? No. Are we still going out tonight? You said something might come up. Uh, crap, yeah. Uh, Boozer and the boys want to ride down to Clam Estate to visit Jack. So you're gonna blow me off to go see some guy in prison? Jack's not some guy. I know, I know. I was kidding. <laughs> oh shit, look out! <laughs> God. <sighs> Jesus. I don't know what it is, but every time I'm on a bike with you, some idiot in a truck tries to run us off the road. Oh, my God. No, no, no. no. Listen, listen, listen. You did great. You did great. Uh, most people, they would have panicked. They would have oversteered, and that would have gotten us killed. I almost did get us killed. I was... <sighs> no, no. I wasn't paying attention, and I was distracted. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. You're okay. Wait a second. What did, what did you mean, distracted? No, it's just stuff going on at work. It's nothing. I just... Oh. Okay. Oh, I just thought maybe you uh, saw my new patch. Here we are. No. No, Matt? Wait, you, you quit the club? No, I didn't quit the club. I would never quit the club. Uh, uh, nomad, what it means is, um, well, I'll be less involved from now on. I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, I know, I know, and if you had, I would have said no. <laughs> you ready to try this again? Yeah, I mean, no, but yeah, I will. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> well, you know, I do what I can. Hey, hey, the clutch, the clutch. I know what the clutch is. Okay, no, no, the... Deacon. So, uh, you think your parents are gonna come? The wedding? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I thought if I stepped back from the MC that, uh... I don't think it's gonna matter to them, Deacon. But you're gonna, you're gonna at least tell them. Yeah, if you want me to. Look, it's just, I'm not gonna change who I am and who you are to make my 
uptight, middle-class parents happy. Okay. Look out! I see them. Hey, are they... are they headed to your work? <sighs> Shit. What about the MC? Are any of them coming now that you've got Nomad? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's probably been a while since any of them set foot in a chapel. Uh, and you really want 27 Harleys rolling up in that little church in Marion Forks? Yeah. You know what? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, okay. This wood is returning. What's going on? I don't know. Miss Whitaker. Yeah. She's been trying to get a hold of you, says it's urgent. It's always urgent. Let him know I'll be right there. Okay. I gotta go. Hey, hey. <sighs> Sorry. It's fine. It's probably just a fire alarm or something small. Okay. How come dead? <clears throat> Love you. Um, just call me later. Addie, I'm sorry. Whatever. Addie, whatever, Ricky. I'm sorry. God damn. Clearance. Clearance. Uh, O'Brien, this is St. John. Come back. O'Brien, this is St. Just answer your goddamn radio! St. John, didn't think I'd hear from you again. Yeah, neither did I. All right, listen, that night you bugged out. You told me that you didn't take any civilians. You just took uh, Nero personnel, feds, people with clearance. I told Shut up, shut up, shut up. Listen to me. Sarah, my wife, she had clearance. She had her ID badge with her the night that I put her on your chopper. So just do me a favor, look it up. Sarah Irene Whitaker. She worked at Cloverdale. She had federal clearance. She was doing, uh, I don't know, research pharmaceutical. I don't know what she, the hell she was doing. Okay, just do okay. me. I'll see what I can find. Okay, great. O'Brien, remember, you owe me. Yeah, yeah. O'Brien out. I was in my classroom one. You know, I taught English at Shamal Community College to a bunch of stay at home moms and high St. John, this is O'Brien. Brian, what do you got? We heard all the things. I need to see you in person. Oh, okay. Jesus, Brian, just would you tell me what you found is ish? She a library, isn't she? I have something to give you. Brian. I've transmitted the coordinates. Meet me there. Right out. Brian. Booze, man, listen, just uh, tell him I'll be back. I gotta. You remember what I told you? Um. Sarah. They bugged out. They only took their own people, feds, people who had federal clearance levels. Deep. What the hell are you talking about? Look, it's probably nothing, but there's something I gotta do. Deacon out. Ricky, hey, um, okay, yeah, I'll check in, Deacon out. Information, what information, O'Brien? What the hell can you possibly have left to say that I would give a damn about? Something's not right here. Men coming! First one down, now the rest of you. Jesus Christ! I gotta reload.
Finally. Jesus. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Ah, stand down! The war on terror. You global warming? None of that Covering matters. Covering. Now that the shit. What do you think now, huh? It's all just part of the back. How do you like that? So listen up. The war on terror is just smoke and mirrors. Started by good old Uncle Sam. Using war as an excuse to look for weapons of mass destruction that didn't exist. And global warming? Just a bunch of lying scientists. Well, in the pockets of those gunning to profit off of all the doom and gloom. Jesus. When you think about it, all of this. The hell? Just another way to build unrest. <laughs> if we're too busy arguing about polar ice caps and genetically altered food and jihad. We're blind to what's really going on behind the curtain. Don't be fooled by all their misdirection, folks. They point one way, you look straight at them. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. So your sage advice, Cope, is to assume that everyone's just lying their asses off. Is that about it? So... No, that's, that's, that is about it. That's pretty good. It's, it's a little late, but... Let's get it, guys. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The war on terror, global warming, none of that matters now that we're in the shit. But it's all just part of the goddamn conspiracy. So listen up. The war on terror is just smoke and mirrors. Started by good old Uncle Sam, using war as an excuse to look for weapons of mass destruction that didn't exist. And global warming? Just a bunch of lying scientists. Well, in the pockets of those gunning to profit off of all the doom and gloom. When you think about it, all of this, just another way to build unrest in the people. If we're too busy arguing about polar ice caps and genetically altered food and jihad, then we're blind to what's really going on behind the curtain. Don't be fooled by all their misdirection, folks. They point one way, you look straight at them. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. So your sage advice, Cope, is to assume that everyone is just lying their asses off. Is that about it? So... No, that's, that's, that is about it. That's pretty good advice. It's a little late, but it's good advice. Sons of bitches. You like to set up ambushes? Yeah? Yeah, I 
How many of you are there? That don't matter. <laughs> Not enough. Gotcha. Yeah. This'll do. Almost out. I've been hit! I've been hit! That's the last of them. Uh, guess your days of setting ambushes around here are over. Bunker, yeah, I bet they had a bunker. Just gotta find it. Feeling the pain? Who fucking is it? Well, fucking Jesse Carlos Williams, sir. Rest in peace.
I'll just take these. Here it is. What's this? A map? Notes? Yeah, okay. Got some papers, notes on crafting. Yeah. for the poor bastards who own the one that I just cleared out. Huh? Not so good, I'm guessing. Since they were all dead long before I ever got there. Information? What information, O'Brien? What the hell can you possibly have left to say? That I would give a damn about. Hmm. 
Down you go! Another bounty. Something under this. Bounties. Yeah. 
We have left to say that I would give a damn about.
fuel. Oh, here we go. That should be it. Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.